Hey guys, welcome in. It doesn't matter whose channel it is, I can still be the star of the show. So basically, here we are with Cherry Jones, and we're gonna try some of this. Watermelon Oxy Shred. It's so, my YouTube video, so I need to do my intro. First. Okay, okay, hello, hello, hi, bye. Okay, Jerry, over to you. Okay, right. So guys, we just pulled up to the gym, and before we get into the gym- Hey guys, well, what's going on? Jason P. Frank here with you. <laughs> hi guys, so- Hey guys, we... what's going on? Hi guys, so we just pulled up to the hey gym. Hey guys, what's going on? Well, how am I gonna- You can't just say, hey guys, I'm expecting you to So we just pulled up to the gym, and Jason- I hope and you're I... all good. Can I sing? No, no, hi hey guys. guys. So we just pulled up to the gym. We're about to go in there and have our first day gym session back. Yes. Um, I'm doing glutes. Jason is doing. I'm having a bit of a pull day today. He's doing pull day, and of course we need some energy to get into that workout. So we've got Oxy Shred Hardcore Candy. I just about tasted it. Jason hasn't tasted it before, so we're gonna watermelon. Do... Watermelon. Hardcore candy. Watermelon Hardcore Candy. I'm really excited for this one. You... If you watch my stories on Instagram, you know that yeah. I love all the Oxy Shred Hardcores. So does Jason. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't lie with you. It makes you feel great for a workout, yeah. it, it, even if just taken as a pre-workout. Whether you're yeah. trying to burn fat yeah, or not, yeah, it's a great pre-workout. Yeah, it gives you a buzz. There. So yeah, you, we love all the Oxy Shreds, but when I'm going to into the gym to have a workout, I either take a pre-workout or I just have Oxy Shred Hardcore, and it's really effective and it really puts you in the zone i think we should dry scoop. i'm not a big fan of dry scoop especially with this beard you know oh, i mean right. i'm all for dry scooping but with a beard it looks like we're about to dry scoop it we're dry scooping okay let's do it Ooh. ladies Excited. first ladies first okay. all of your clothes nice i'm gonna try and not get this in my beard Ooh, that's good. You, you didn't get a drop on you what do you think Mm -hmm. That's really nice. It literally tastes like, just like it says, watermelon hardcore candy. It tastes really, really nice. I think it's really good, guys. <laughs> so now, with the rest of the water that we have in our cup, we're going to put some Beyond BCAAs. Okay, B BCAAs are good because they help with recovery. So after um, you have a workout, you, sometimes you're really, really sore. That's something called DOMS, which is delayed on muscle I love the DOMS. I love, I love the DOMS. DOMS. I love DOMS, but I don't like when it prevents you from having another workout okay, and you're, okay, you're yeah. in the bed yeah, like oh that. i can't go to the gym so that helps reduce dumps yeah helps to reduce dumps help helps with the recovery of muscles helps with lean muscle building and it also helps with your endurance in the gym so it really helps you push through and get that extra set so into still our enjoying water. the taste of that woman off my it's so, yeah me too uh, yeah. <laughs> This is nice. They're all really nice. That's the problem. Mm. It's like you, you try you try and have a favorite flavor, and then they yeah, bring out a new flavor. Yeah, and then they bring out a new flavor. It's true. Every time I get a, a delivery come, I'm like, oh my god, this is my new favorite flavor. Then they send me another one. And I'm like, it's been you know yeah. revoked. So guys, we will see you okay, when we okay. get into the gym. Okay, guys, let's get straight into the workout. I'm starting with some warm ups. I'm doing some glute activation by doing kickbacks. I see a lot of people doing kickbacks with the legs straight out and they're just going up and down but for me I'm trying to go for full range of motion and I feel like I get a more range of motion by doing it like this. Move on to the next leg as soon as you're done the first leg, no breaks, go straight into it. Also when doing single leg movements with these bands, the trick is to keep one knee on the band like you see I have and I'm kicking back with the other leg, that way you keep the resistance on the band. Next, I'm on to abductions and guys, please remember to keep your knee on one side of the band and use the other leg to do the movement. And of course, you guys can do this movement with body weight as well. Do not underestimate your body weight. Your body is very heavy. A lot of us can't actually lift our own body weight. So that just goes to show how useful it can be when working out, when not having any equipment. So if you don't have any equipment, guys, just use your own body weight. Right guys, so now we are onto the weighted movements and I am doing single leg glute bridges. Doing a lot of reps because I am using a light weight. 
Also, you might be wondering why I've crossed my leg over instead of putting it straight out. And the reason is for stability, especially when using a weight. I think it's just more stable and more safe if I curl my leg over and it kind of grips the weight a bit more. So I'm less likely to have accidents of it rolling down into me. We are on to the big daddy exercise. I am doing sumo deadlifts with heavy weight and because I'm using a heavy weight, I am using lighter reps. This workout is what is known as compound sets. I am basically mixing two exercises that target the same muscle, which is the glutes. If you want to grow your glutes, this method of working out is very effective. And this is actually a part of my guide. This complete workout is actually part of my guide. So if you guys want to get that and get onto a really effective booty building program, you can join that. So now we're moving on to the third workout, which is actually the second compound set. And it's just some kickbacks here. As you guys heard what I said in the uh, first exercise, I prefer to fully kick back. I know some ladies prefer to, you know, lift their legs up and down, but I prefer to get a full range of motion and really go forward and kick it all the way back. Okay, I am pairing the cable kickbacks with some Bulgarian split squats and I'm using a heavy weight. I should have gone heavier but the weights were occupied. Time for some hip abduction machine. I know this is so many girls favourite machine at the gym and we all know why it really works the glutes. So I'm doing some up down with some abductions here. You can just do it like normal. I'm just experimenting and playing around with it because I can lift the whole stack pretty easily. So I'm finding new ways to wear myself out on the machine. So I am pairing the hip abduction machine with some reverse lunges, Boy, I'm doing these on the Smith machine and these are killer, they're a perfect way to end a workout. I'm doing 3 sets of 10 on each leg and I'm using a very heavy weight, or what for me is heavy, so guys you don't have to copy the weight I'm using, use what is heavy for you, because what is heavy for me might not be heavy for someone else. So that's all I've filmed guys, unfortunately I didn't get to film the burnout workout and I didn't get to film all of the warm up but you get the drift, an intense glute session back. Okay guys we are all done with the gym, yes, that was how was your first workout, workout back? Amazing. It was a really good workout, it was like I never left. So it was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the content we had to give you guys, yeah. I'll show you guys what we are gonna eat when we're done. See you guys in a little bit. So guys, as soon as I got back home, I had a protein shake. I had the OxyWay shake in flavor vanilla. And guys, you know, I always tell you, make sure you feed your gains. Make sure you get enough protein today. You just had a super intense glute session. So about half an hour after I had my shake, I made something to eat. So I just made some flatbreads fill filled with vegan kebab meat. So it's not really meat, it's something vegan. And Jason had a burrito. So I'm just showing you guys an example of how you can eat after you finish those sessions. Hi guys, so it's been about an hour since our last meal. Jason had a burrito and I had a shawarma kebab wrap. They were both vegan and really high in protein and now we're about to have some edinami noodles and some prawns, the recipes I made myself. If you guys want to see the recipe for this meal, I will link it here or somewhere, somewhere in this video. And it's really high in protein guys, so if you want to try it, it is yummy and it's really good kind of it's the type of meal you should be having after you resistance drink because it's really high in protein but yeah we're about to go and eat now i'll just bring it closer to the screen there it is high protein meal i think it's meal three of the day Ooh, yes so guys if you're thinking i stopped eating there you're crazy i love food i'm just having a snack i'm having some sugar-free jelly it's only about 50 calories and i like to have that with some fruit so as you can see i'm just having some mangoes and raspberries and i'm having a fiber one bar um i don't know if you guys have this in england i mean america but we have it in england and it's just a low calorie bar so guys thank you for watching if you like this video and you would like more of it make sure you like comment and subscribe also, if you gave this workout a go and you really, really enjoyed it, remember it's just one section of my program. So if you want to get my program, just head on over to cherryjonesfitness.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.